Okay, so many of you, many of you know that I shoot, I, I want to say primarily, not with just Canon cameras, but primarily. So we have a Canon EOS R, an R6, which is this camera here. And I just recently bought this one here, which as you can see is the, uh, maybe you can see the R7, right? Right down there. You can see that, right? R7. Um, anyways, they all take the same battery, which was great. But I'm doing a uh, wedding shoot in January, and one of the things I wanted to make sure is that I had uh, all new batteries for all three cameras so that, of course, everything everything works well and I can make sure I can get through the day. So I bought the small rig, as you can see here. I purchased these, right? Small rig LP E6 and H. Now, uh, it's, it's about a month after I bought them, and I haven't opened them yet because I'm, try I'm trying not to use them. Until I, of course, get uh, closer to the date so that they don't get much wear on them. But I figure I should open a pack here, um, see what comes in the box, which is probably just the charger and the batteries. But because my R7 is brand new and literally that battery that came with it has gone through one charge. That's it. One charge. Um, we're going to charge that battery up. We're going to charge one of these up. And then what we're going to do is we're going to see what kind of time, right? How, how much, how close the small rig gets to the Canon battery, the official Canon battery, or if it even gets better. So we're going to take a look at what comes in the box and uh, we'll do that test. Okay, so these are getting right now 18 ratings, uh, five stars, which is, which is awesome. Um, basically, it's it's like seventy seven dollars Canadian. You get two batteries and a charger, and and really that's kind of like what you'd get, maybe one Canon battery. Um, so, if if they give you um, close or more, then we should be super happy, right? Sufficient power supply, yeah, small rig, wide compatibility. Of course, this is pretty much with any of the Canon cameras that take this battery, which nowadays is a lot of them, especially in their mirrorless line. Uh, multiple charging options, options, uh, intelligent LCD screen will tell you is what it says. Uh, when charged, charger powered up, you get all the information about the charging status of each battery, which is really good, safe and reliable, which is also it's you know it's it's uh, it's small rig, so I would I would expect it. Anyways, here they are: camera, battery, and charger kit, LPE six NH, right. Not a lot on there. You guys can see there's some specs on the back of the box if that's of interest to you guys at all. Uh, what does it say? Fully decoded chip, dual fast charging, digital screen display, long battery life. Everything you and I want out of a battery. And if we can save ourselves some cash and still get uh, good good battery life, you know what? If, it can, if it's close, if it's close enough, right? Uh, we're going to do this test with video because, again, with the uh, new... R7, it has uh, no recording limit. So because it has no recording limit, I can put the battery in. We're going to set it to uh, 4K uh, and we're just going to let it go. We're going to let it go on both of them, right? So there we go. Empty, empty little, little, little manual. I don't know. You, you put the batteries in and, and you're good, right? Um, but we're going to, and just so you guys know, right? I bought one and, and I bought a second one. So I have, I have four extra batteries. So yeah, uh, and these were not sent. I bought them. Uh, so, anyways, we have a charger. So, yeah, if I can get eighty to ninety percent, fantastic. If I can get the same, even better, right? So, here's going to be your your little charger, which is which is good. Of course, this should have no issues. I would think charging. Oh, that's sad. That didn't pull off properly. Oh well. Um, I would think. Oh, that's nice. The cable is actually just right into it. So that's you see that right? So that you can actually just cart that around with you. It's all sits in there nice. You don't have to carry anything. Now it also has another USB-C one right there. So I wonder if this has some kind of like pass through dual, dual charger. So my guess is it will charge two of these possibly dual charger, but I'm wondering if you can plug something into it and have uh, it charge through and charge as well. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you know what I'm saying. I'm, I'm guessing. I'll read the manual. Anyways, battery, right there they are. It looks they look like they look like Canon batteries, right? Same kind of little cover on the on the back, everything, right? There they go. Little 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 small rig, 
up there. Battery pack, yep. What does it say for storage? What are these? These are, uh, I, I know it said it at some point. 2,040 milliamp hours, 2,040. So, all right. Um, and, and it comes with two. That's really, what more do you need, right? That's, that's, that's all you need to know about this. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna charge one of these, make sure it's fully charged. I'm gonna charge the Canon one that came with this, make sure it's fully charged. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna turn the camera on. Uh, I'm gonna put a 128 gig card in there. I'm gonna record until it dies. And then we'll switch batteries and do the same with the other one. You guys don't need to hang around for that. Uh, I will just come back with the results. So stay tuned. Okay, so we're we're upstairs now. We're upstairs, and uh, I have basically been letting the cameras run. Again, we ran the Canon R7. Uh, we did a vi it's a video test. Now you don't need to see the video by any means because it's just me shooting the wall, and then I changed it after the first battery died, and I shot the the the, the Christmas tree. Yep. Um, so if we look at them now, just so you know, for specs wise. Uh, we were shooting onto a 128 gig card. Both ca both batteries filled that card up from empty to full, and then I, I shot on another card. Um, we shot uh, in Canon uh, C log, so we were running in 10 bit, um, and we just kind of started and, and let her fill up. So simply, if you see here, this is this is basically. You can tell by the angle, I got one. I actually had to do three cards because my second card that I tried uh, already had footage on it, but one, two, three. So if we put those onto the timeline, oops, try that again. One, two, three. We come out at two minutes and 16 seconds. Two minutes, wrong. That's completely wrong, two hours. 16 minutes, 13 seconds, 14 frames. 2, 16, 13. 2, 16, 13, we'll say. 2, 16, 13. Okay, now, the other one, there's there's the nice shot there. 2, 16, 13, and we got, this is when it ran out. Pretty much, what are we at? About about two hours. Just, just early of two hours. So, the Canon battery did do better. The uh, original Canon, we got two hours and 16 minutes. So let's just say 215, we'll say 215 versus two hours. So yes, the Canon battery does better for sure. So if you're a person that just wants one one battery and you're, you want not to have to change that battery and you're like, I'll pay more for it because it's Canon and I want just one, one like I said, one battery, then get the Canon one. Now. The small brick is close. I, I remember how I said 80% to 90% in that range, I'd be happy. Well, it, I got there. So um, here's the kicker. I get two, I get two of those batteries. So I'm actually getting four hours versus two hours and 15 minutes for the same price. Plus I get a charger, a dual charger. Yeah. So uh, I'm, I'm actually really pleased. The fact that I got two hours of C-Log 10-bit footage onto this versus the 215 that I got with the uh, official Canon battery. Yeah, I'm pleased. And again, two. Uh, if you guys are interested in this little kit that I bought, I bought it actually off of Amazon. Comes in around that, you know, 70-ish dollar Canadian, 70, 75. Sometimes you can get it on sale. Uh, I'll put links down below to it because I think I think it's a good deal. And yes, it's third party, but again, it's small rig. So I've got a lot more faith in them than some of these other battery companies that I'm like, I really have no idea who they are. So links down below. Um, not bad, not bad at all. All right, guys. Like, comment, share, subscribe, hit that little notification bell, and uh, let me know if you guys run third-party batteries or if you are, you know, brand, brand, brand only, Canon or Nikon or Sony or that's it. All right, guys, I'm out. Later.